All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. This is the Java Building Blocks playlist at the Coding Zoo. In today's lesson, we are going to continue looking at the Streams API. We're going to cover a little method called AnyMatch. We're going to cover there's so many methods we're going to cover. We're going to cover today, though, the method AnyMatch. If you're not familiar, hey, stick around. As usual, we're going to jump right in. Boy, I need a haircut. That's my country voice coming out. Oh, hey guys. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to the coding zoo, please just want to remind you, uh, if you want to see upcoming videos, click the subscribe button below and there's a bell icon. Click that bell icon. Go ahead and do that so you don't forget. It definitely helps out the coding zoo. We really appreciate it. If you know of anybody else who might would like to learn how to program with us, send them our way also. So let's go ahead and jump in the code. We're going to cover the method any match. It's somewhat similar, not quite, but similar to a method we covered uh, in previous lessons called all match. So let's go ahead and, and jump in the code and get started on that. Okay, so on my desktop here, I have a class called any match example. It has a static main method. The first thing we're going to do is create a list so we can get a we're going to create a list to play around with a list of integers i'm going to call it my numbers equals now i'm going to use this arrays api the static method as list to go ahead and create a list so let's create four five six seven eight nine Go ahead and import the list interface. So now I have a my numbers um, list of integers. Now borrowing, borrowing, that country talk borrowing. Now bar, borrowing, borrowing. Can you tell I'm from Louisiana? Uh, currently in Texas. So let me see if I can say it again. Now borrowing, borrow, <laughs> borrowing. I'm going to use a previous formula <laughs> from the example we coded a while back um, from all match. I'm going to um, create a stream, and it's going to go through this list, and I'm going to determine if any of these numbers are even. So if any of the numbers are even. Well, that's going to satisfy this method, any match. Now, keep in mind, I only have to find one even number. That's the whole point. Do any of these match whatever formula I give it, whatever lambda I give it? Does that formula inside of that lambda, do any of the numbers that are coming through that stream match that formula? So I would do my numbers. Let's do uh, stream. All right, any match. Now I'm gonna put my lambda. So let's do number, number. And I'm going to put the formula. The, so I'm passing in to any match, a lambda expression. Now each number is gonna be passed into that lambda as the parameter called number so number now how do i see if it's odd well if the number passed in with a mod of two is equal to zero then i know it's odd so what does that mod uh, function do uh, the mod operator do rather well the number divided by two what's its remainder that's what the modular operator is doing it's basically telling you the remainder of dividing that number by two or whatever other number i use so if if four divided by two is equal to zero i know it's an even number i think i said odd number before this example will be going over uh, how to find the 
even numbers, not the odd numbers, my bad. If any of these numbers that go through the stream are divisible by two with no remainder, we know they're even. Not odd, but even. Now, any match is a terminating function. Um, as soon as it finds a number that matches the formula. So what's going to happen is, is this statement here, number mod 2 equal to 0, is going to return a true or false. Any match is expecting your lambda to return a true or a false. In this case, uh, for 4, it's going to return a true. For 5, it would return a false, but it won't get that far. As soon as it finds the 4, it's going to be done. It's not going to process all of them. It's just going to look for the first one that matches, right? Um, and if, if one of them matches, then any match has been met, it's going to stop. Okay. Now, let's change it up a little bit just to see that. I'm going to go here and let's change it up just a little bit. I'm going to return the results. And I'm, I'm, I'm changing the lambda to be um, expressed through the brackets instead of the shorthand, because I want to print out print out the number that comes in. Just so we can see that it stops when it finds the first one. Let's set a variable. How am I going to know if it's true or false if I don't have a variable to put the value in? Duh. Let's call it is any even. Okay. And I'm also going to print out is any even. Okay, let's run it. All right, so you'll see the numbers that it printed out as it went through that list, streamed through that list, was just the four because it found the four and it returned true. You see here that is any even has set to true. Let me blow that up a little bit so you can actually read that. All right, there we go. So you can see that it only got as far as four and it returned true because it did find something that was even and it quit processing. Well, what if I take out the four, let's put a three. I'm gonna take out this six and I'm gonna put a one and we're gonna leave the eight in there. Let's see what happens now. Run it again. And let's blow that back up. All right, so it processed three. It's not even, kept going. Processed five, it's not even, it kept going. Processed one, that returns a false. Processed seven, that returns a false. And then it got to eight. So eight returned a true, and it found an even one. It did not go to nine. It went ahead and stopped processing there. Pretty neat. All right, so if you want to, Find something in an array and, and a list and immediately or in a collection and immediately stop processing. Uh, that is uh, one way of doing it. See if something exists. Let's go ahead and let's leave the nine and let's go ahead and get rid of this eight. So what should happen? Run it again. Blow it up. We have three, five, one, seven, nine, and it returned false because none of them matched even. So that's it. It's pretty simple. The method is called any match. And of course, you're processing a stream and you're applying a formula to each entity in that stream. In this case, it's integers. And if that formula returns a true, you found a match, you stop processing. If it returns a false, it keeps going through the stream until it finds a true. If it doesn't find a true, then it returns a false and you know whatever formula applied to the list that, that tells you what you're looking for would have told you that, hey, that item you're looking for doesn't exist in the list. So pretty neat. I hope that makes sense. Hey, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a message below and I'll definitely get back to you. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe and click on the bell icon. Uh, you should see it right below. It'll help us uh, tremendously. We really appreciate it. If you know anybody else who'd like to learn how to program, hey, send them our way. Our goal at Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. So that's it for today. Thanks again for joining. Uh, I hope that you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. I need to shave, I need a haircut, coronavirus has it stuck indoors, can't get a haircut. First time I've grown a full mustache and beard, that's not a very full one considering I'm pretty old, still look like a teenager's mustache and beard. Oh, goodness, that's what you get when you have a baby face like this, even though it's handsome. You know, it's hard to grow beard, beards, beard, uh, a beard. You wouldn't have multiple beards. A beard and mustache is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, you get the point. I am bored to death. I'm dying to see sun again. Maybe I should go out and go hiking or something. I don't know. I'm rambling. Okay. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.